of you, can you bring the lights down, John? I think that most of you are familiar with the work of Ed Ruscha, uh, an artist that some say is the Andy Warhol of the West, certainly one of the pioneers of pop art. Uh, except other than soup cans, uh, which Andy Warhol painted, Ed Ruscha was interested in gas stations. And his most famous images are of these gas stations with this radically foreshortened effect. And it makes the common gas station look like a grand Parthenon. No, okay. Ah. Ed is almost a local boy. Uh, he grew up in Oklahoma, uh, graduated from Oklahoma City High School. And upon graduating from high school, he received the uh, Oklahoma City Chamber of Commerce uh, Art and Design Award. So this would have been a big deal for a guy who was 18 years old in Oklahoma City, but it was not a big enough deal for Ed. He had to get out of Oklahoma City, so he and his best friend, Mason Williams, got in Ed's old Ford and drove from Oklahoma City along Route 66 to Los Angeles. They were starstruck, but they were also very ambitious and eventually would be very successful. Mason Williams wanted to be a classical musician, uh, but his instrument was the guitar. And when you're in LA in the early 60s, you play pop music. And so he fused his classical ambitions with his pop ambitions and uh, had a, a number, it was a top 10 hit in 1967 called Classical Gas. Ed would also go on to be one of LA's most famous artists, uh, documenting its vastness and all of its idiosyncrasies, its famous streets, its stucco apartment buildings. But it always came back to the automobile, and the automobile always led him back to the gas station. And it was that trip from Oklahoma City to Los Angeles in which he first took hundreds of photographs of gas stations along Route 66. And the thing that fascinated him most about these gas stations was the architecture. They were a kind of one horse town out in the middle of nowhere with an old guy and a young guy working the station. But the canna the canna these radical cantilevered um, canopies were what attracted his eye. And so when he began making his pop paintings in the 60s, he he radicalized this foreshortened effect and created these, these gas stations, which became famous. And for Ed, the idea of this foreshortening is really, and I don't make this up because this word has been used a lot uh, today, was really about um, a, a modernist optimism. Something begins small and expands to something larger. So Ed is our artist for the Van Cliburn, and I think, Carla, do you want to unveil it? And I'll just say a few words about it. So you can see that that... You can see that that radical foreshortened effect has taken place in, in his uh, uh, unique photograph of uh, piano keys. So the piano keys, not unlike his gas stations, become this vast landscape across which a pianist's hands travel. So um, I think it's a great work by Ed. I think it was a great choice by the Clyburn to choose Ed. He's a very well-known artist. I hope and I think he will bring a lot of attention uh, to this competition. Um, so it's been a joy working with you. Thank you. Thank you.